few things that we do have to have precisely. So your graph may look slightly different from mine, but overall it has to have the same characteristics. So um, the first thing that they tell us is they tell us f of 2 is equal to f of 4, which is equal to 0. Anytime you see something like that, you have to plot those points exactly. So um, f of 2 is equal to f of 4 is equal to 0. So that means at x equals 2, the y value is 0. At x equals 4, the y value is 0. Okay, those are non-negotiables. Those have to be on there. Then the second thing they tell us is they say f of 3 is defined. Okay, now that's not something that we can physically graph at this point, but when I read something like that, I'm thinking in my mind, okay, something weird is going to happen though at that point. If they're telling me that that value is defined, then that means there's going to be some something going on. Uh, whether it be with kind of a weird limit or, you know, maybe the derivative's kind of weird there. Uh, so I'm going to hang up, hold off on that one for a second. Okay, the third thing that they tell us, they say f prime of x is less than 0 if x is less than 3. So what does that tell us in words? f prime of x is less than 0. Well, what is less than 0 a fancy way of saying? It's saying that it's negative, okay, and if the derivative is negative, that means the original function is decreasing. If the derivative is negative, that means our original function is decreasing when x is less than 3. So it appears that 3 is kind of an important uh, point for us here. So I'm just going to kind of indicate here on my graph that there, there's going to be a change happening at 3. I need to be aware of that. So I'm decreasing to the left of 3. Then it says f prime of 3 does not exist. Okay, just a minute ago it told us f of 3 was defined, but f prime of 3 does not exist. What are two cases where our derivative does not exist? Okay, but a whole, can we have a whole right here? Okay, so let's think of times when our function is defined and our derivative is not, okay? Sharp points and vertical tangent lines, okay? Sharp points and vertical tangent lines. So I'm still going to hold off on that one for a second to see if I get some more information later on, okay? But I know I'm either going to have a sharp point or a vertical tangent line here. That's kind of a point where you can... Uh, where your graph may be a little different from mine because you can make that choice. You can decide which one you want as long as they don't tell you anything else later on that's going to change that. Okay, then it says f prime of x is greater than 0 if x is greater than 3. Well, greater than 0 is a fancy way of saying that it's positive. If the derivative is positive, that means the original is increasing. So I'm going to sit on that one for a second. I got to see what else is going on too. And then they tell me one more thing. They tell me that the second derivative is less than zero. Okay, again, that's negative. Second derivative is negative. What does that tell me about the original function? Uh, concave, down. concave down. If x is not equal to three. So that means everywhere but at three, our function's concave down. Well, the reason why it says everywhere but three because the derivative at 3 doesn't exist. So if the first derivative doesn't exist, then the second derivative can't exist. Okay? So, um, putting all these pieces together. To the left of 3, I'm decreasing. And then to the right of 3, I'm increasing. And I'm always concave down. Um, I'm just going to... And I have to go through those two points. The easiest thing for me to draw is this is what I'm visualizing. A function that looks like this. Okay, keep it simple. Okay, keep it simple. Use all the characteristics, but don't throw anything extra in there. Okay, and then after you've done that, go back through and make sure all the characteristics are satisfied. Okay, f of 2 is equal to f of 4 is equal to 0. Okay, we're good there. We go through those two points. f of 3 is defined. I have a point there. Okay, it's negative 2. Like I say, yours could be here at negative 1. It could be way down here. That's where there's some wiggle room. Um, f prime of x is less than 0. If x is less than 3, my function is decreasing to the left of 3. My 
My derivative does not exist in three. I have a sharp point. F prime is positive if x, if x is greater than three. My function is increasing to the right of three. And my derivative is always negative, except that three where, it, or my second derivative is always negative. I may set that three where it's not defined. My function is always promptly negative. Okay? So that's what this graph looks like. Now, in this case, there was no way that I could draw a vertical tangent line. Okay, there's no way that I could have made that f prime of three does not exist be a vertical tangent line um, because of the decreasing and increasing and mostly for the decreasing and increasing. Um, vertical tangent lines are going to occur where you're decreasing and then you continue increasing or increasing and you continue increasing. You can't change and have a vertical tangent line. Yes. still getting a grasp on concavity. I know sometimes it can be a little tricky to, to visually look at, but um